James Com, guy on the bike, half ass production. Jasper John Gray at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Well, we're here at the Tishman Galleries. It's the opening of the Jasper John's Exhibition Grays. And I believe this painting here on the left, False Start, is the most expensive painting ever sold by a living artist. This piece recently sold to a Chicago hedge fund manager for $80 million from the David Geffen collection. Oh, on canvas, 1959. And I'm glad that uh, we're not just going to have gray paintings. This is Jubilee, also from 1959. This is an historic opening here. Jasper Johns is an icon of American art. Okay, I'll do. Can I do still photo? I've just been told I can't do video. This is gray rectangles, 1957, and caustic on canvas. This great painting with ball. We've actually got an entire gallery here of flags. This is a great flag, 1957. I would say it's approximately 24 by 36 inches and caustic on canvas. This is flag, 1960 and 1987. Silver cast from a mollage of flag, 1960. Got a gallery filled with targets and a map. You can really see the kind of uh, texture and collage elements she was using in there to build up the surface. This is a little map, 1960, and the wall panel says it's from the Robert Rauschenberg Foundation collection. John's use of maps as a motif began when Robert Rashford gave him a miniature outline of the United States. This is map 1960. So that's the figure two. And this is zero through nine. Oil on canvas. I think you can actually see that Jasper Johns and about 1961 is getting a little more expressionistic, a little more brushy. He's bringing in some of the New York School slash and drip style. This piece is zero through nine and it's acrylic on canvas, which is unusual for John's. Sculpted numbers, 1963. Sculpting metal on canvas. This really gives you a chance to see how the, the sculpting metal and his gray paintings really fit together and flatten out the surfaces. At this gallery, he's moved on to some of his larger pieces, sort of playing with the paradox of painting. This is Fool's House, 1962. And here we've got a broom. Getting the paint. Oh, this is great. This is Fool's House, and he's got a little coffee cup that he added on here. Along with his two canvases. Oh, he's got a stretcher in the canvas. Here's another iconic image. This is Periscope, Heart Crane, 1962. This guy's got some of his famous sculptures. Light bulb, 1960 oil on bronze. In this gallery, we move on into the late 60s, early 70s with his cross hatching series. This is 
This is Tantric Detail 1980. Tantric Detail 1981. And that does look like a scrotum. And a skull. This is between the clock and the bed, 1982 to 1983. And one of the unique things about Jasper Johns is that he was featured in a Simpsons episode as himself, called Mom and Pop Heart. This gallery moves into the 80s, and we can see they sort of picked up a whole new vocabulary of shapes and forms. He's introduced a figure in his seasons, periods. This is Racing Thoughts. And a little silkscreen portrait, portrait of Leo Castelli, Mona Lisa. Now, Leo was Jasper John's dealer for about 40 years, from 1959 until his death in 1999. It's probably one of the great artist-dealer relationships in 20th century modern art. This is untitled 1992 to 1995. This is really a summing up of a lot of the devices he was using through the 80s into the 90s. It's a floor plan. And there's polka dots. Study for a painting, J. John's 20, oh, 2002. He's got this little constructions of slats of wood with hinges. This is Bridge, 1997. It's also another of the Cantonary series. I love the Harlequin plaid section here that really jazzes things up. So, this is James Calm coming to you from the Metropolitan Museum and Jasper Johns Grays. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Kate.